uh, once. Oh yes, I. Oh yeah, I think we are recording now. Okay, great. So today we are going to be making some super yummy ultimate 90 second microwave oatmeal. Um, this is a go-to recipe for me when I'm trying to eat something quickly that's healthy, um, but then need to get out the door. I love that this recipe um, can be done in about two minutes um, and it's really tasty and you can kind of add whatever toppings that you have in your kitchen to make it fit your taste. So what we're going to do is we're gonna start out with oats. So you need half a cup of oats. Um, make sure they're the old fashioned kind. If you get quick oats, it might be a little mushy. Um, if you don't have old fashioned, that's okay. You can still do it with the quick oats. I just find it's tastier with the old fashioned oats. So um, we need half a cup of the oats. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put these oats into a bowl that is microwavable. So I've got my bowl here, you can go in the microwave. I'm just gonna put that right in there. So once you have your oats, you need your milk. Otherwise it's gonna be super dry. So any milk will do. I've got almond milk, that's what I'm going to be using today, but you can use regular milk or soy milk. Um, really anything works. It just gives it that richness and creaminess to the oatmeal. So you put half a cup of oats in, we're gonna do half a cup of milk too. So equal proportions here. Just gonna measure that out. And then your milk also goes in with your oats. All right. So once you've got that, then you get to have fun putting some spices and some fun flavoring in it. Um, I'd recommend using a little bit of vanilla. Um, that just gives it a little bit of uh, richness to the flavor. Um, you only need a little bit of vanilla, about a teaspoon, a little bit goes a long way. I'm just gonna eyeball it for today, but um, you, you can measure out a teaspoon if you feel more comfortable doing so. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in, just like that. You can also put some cinnamon in it. Um, that makes it really yummy. Um, I'm just gonna put a few shakes of cinnamon. Um, again, if you like measuring things out, if you're a little bit more precise, you can do a quarter of a teaspoon, but it doesn't really matter if you have a little bit more or a little bit less. It just depends upon how much cinnamon you want. And then finally, we are going to add a pinch of salt. Um, this just gives it a little bit of extra um, flavor to it. It helps bring out everything that you have in there. Um, okay, so at that point, you should have your oats, your milk, your vanilla, and your cinnamon. Um, as you can see, it's kind of all sitting in there. Um, and that's not how I like to eat my oatmeal. I like to have everything all mixed up. So we're just gonna take a spoon and stir it around a little bit to help mix that cinnamon in, make sure all the oats are covered in the milk. And then I think that looks pretty good. Okay. So then we're gonna stick in the microwave for about 90 seconds or so. Everyone's microwave is different. So we're gonna try 90 seconds. It might be done a little bit sooner, or a little bit later, but we're gonna stick with that um, and check on it if we need to. So go ahead and stick that in the microwave. Things to it. So today, what I have, um, like you have in the picture, um, I've got some raspberries and I've got a banana. Um, you really wanna add some fruit because that helps make it a little bit extra sweet. Um, so it's not uh, quite so, uh, not quite so bland. You really wanna add a little bit of extra flavor to it. Um, if you have other fruits or, or berries, that's totally fine to put in. Um, raisins are really good in it. You can put um, some of the coconut. I know we are, we're using coconut for another recipe, so I happen to have that on hand. So really, whatever you have in the kitchen, feel free to add that in. Now, I do want to give some facts about bananas because bananas are actually really healthy and they're delicious. So bananas, um, you want to pick according to the peel color. So when they're a little bit greener, they're going to be less sweet but then they're gonna get browner. And as they get browner, they happen to get sweeter. So depending upon what, um, what ripeness you like, um, you should really look at the peel when you're, when you're picking your bananas at the store. Um, when you're baking, I like using really ripe bananas. So when you're making banana bread, um, that's when you want to be as ugly and brown as possible. That means it's gonna be extra sweet. Um, if you have bananas and 
they are not ripening, um, then leave them out on the counter. Um, if they're ripening too quickly, you can put it in the fridge. So putting it in the fridge will make them last a little bit longer. So let's go ahead, my, my microwave dinged. So I think it's ready, let's check on it. Now be careful as you take it out because it's super hot right now on my fingers. So I'm being a little extra careful. Um, it smells amazing with the cinnamon though. Look at all that, yum. Cannot wait to eat that. Um, okay, so once you have the oatmeal, just go ahead and put whatever um, toppings you want. So I'm gonna put some raspberries on top. Um, and then I'm also going to put some of that banana that we just talked about um, to add a little bit of extra sweetness. So let me see if I can, there we go. So I'm just gonna cut some banana slices. As much as you want, stick that right on top. Um, now, how long you microwave your oatmeal depends upon the consistency that you like. So if you like your oatmeal to be a little bit chewier, um, you, can, you can microwave it more or less depending. Um, it'll get softer as you keep microwaving it. Okay. And with that, uh, I'm just about done. Look at that, that looks so yummy. It's healthy, um, it'll fill you right up for the rest of the morning um, and you'll feel ready to go and start your day.